So we're going to get started on the entree. And what we've got tonight is sautéed trout. I'm going to do it with some almondine, toasted almonds. We're going to serve it with fiddlehead fans, and I think everybody had a look at those. And um, ramps, which are wild leeks. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so all that's heating. I've just got a little bit of oil in there to. And I'm going to go to here. All right, so we'll start with this one. I've got this pan going over here. And we're going to go ahead and toast the almonds. All I'm doing here is just going to toast them right off. Just a little bit of salt in there. And we'll let those, we'll let those brown. We'll get this pan going. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the trout here. I've got um, trout fillets. Everybody can see those. Um, I figured I'd do trout because we just started fishing for trout, so it's actually uh, perfect time, perfect time of the year. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just I lightly salt, get the pan hot, and yeah, pretty much. All I need is a. So I've got the I've got the um, the trout going in here. I like to do it. Um, skin side up first. The reason I do that is the skin has a tendency to flatten out once you turn it over, but if you do it skin side first, it holds flat and you can't brown the whole other side. So this way the, this way the, the whole side of the fillet uh, browns. All right, I'm a little bit more oil in there just so that it can pan fry. Okay, and I don't know, see, just by turning those off, they toast it up nice. A nice little color to them. All right, so so you can see how that browned on the whole side of it, but when I flipped it over, the skin is all flat now. If I had done it the other way around, only you'd only have brown right across the top here. Let it cook in the hot pan as it goes, and I'm going to reuse this this pan. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a touch of oil. I've already got a little bit of butter in there, and I'm going to add just a touch of butter. Okay, and and, and I've got that cooking. This is a ramp, okay? It's, like I said, it's just a baby leak. They're just wild leaks. And I'm gonna cut them up, cut that up. And I'm gonna get this, this is pretty hot. And I'm gonna add that right in, nice and flat. I'm not gonna really move them once they're in because I want them to get a little bit crispy, the, the thin green here. I want it to get a little bit crispy. See how it blows up? So it'll crisp up nice. All right. Then we've got the fiddleheads. The fiddlehead ferns, this time of the year with the ramps, you guys have seen them. There's two different kinds of fiddleheads. I mean, there's two kinds of ferns. One kind is when you buy it in the store, they're good to eat. The other ones are actually pretty good to eat too. They give you wicked gas. Upset stomach the whole nine yards. So you don't, you don't want to... You don't want to do that. And my understanding is, is that the, I'm going to look a little salt here. My understanding is that the, the fiddleheads that you can eat have paper around them. And the fiddleheads that you can't eat, they're not fiddleheads, the ferns that you can't eat have hair when you see it. Like they're growing in your yard a lot of times. Don't eat the ones with the hair for sure. Okay? It's amazing what we say on this show sometimes. All right. So I've got, I've got the fiddleheads going, now I'm going to swap pans again while they're cooking. I'm going to add a little bit of wine over there just so that it can cook. And we've got this trout going again. And taking up the oil. I'm going to get a little bit of parsley out of my display here. Chop up the parsley. I'm gonna put that in there. A little bit of lemon juice. That lemon juice is just gonna evaporate. I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine. White wine is evaporating as well, and then I'm gonna add just another piece of butter. Okay, 
I have a tendency to go over on the butter, so we're going light tonight, actually. All right, now these fillets are done. You can tell, if you're not sure, they'll break and they're not translucent in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna take the fillet, and I'm gonna set it right over the, the rice. Then I'm gonna take the fiddleheads that we already did, and I'm gonna put them right into that same pan. To glaze it again with a little bit of white wine, that white wine just goes away. Okay? Let's try that. That needs a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna get yelled at for licking my fingers on TV, but. <laughs> as soon as I did it, I said, I'm in trouble. Somebody's gonna tell me. We've got that, and then we're gonna take those toasted almonds, and we're just gonna put those right across the top of it. And that is literally how long it takes for us to make that trout, okay? And that's a beautiful dish. So we're gonna go ahead and serve you guys up. Good. Got it? All right, next we're gonna get Ashley up here after this, after we serve you guys. And she's gonna do the maple, um, the maple cannolis, maple walnut cannolis. That's Ashley right over there. Well, like I said, she came to us two years ago as an intern. She's turned out to be rock solid around here. We really depend on her for a lot of stuff. Um, and she's done, a, she's done a great job and she just graduated. 